I went to an Italian restaurant with a friend yesterday. The food there is very cheap. We ordered many dishes. They all tasted good. It offers nice atmosphere. The service is also very warm. We were very happy. We will go there again. I am happy with the current job. First, colleagues are easy to work with. The working atmosphere is very good. Second, I love what I am doing at work. I can learn a lot every day. It pays well enough to provide for my family. I live far away from my parents. I can only go back home twice a year. I usually reach them using a cell phone. Nowadays, the internet is developed. The cell phone also has many features. Sometimes I share a joke with them. I also send them photos of me having lunch. Sometimes we video chat. I have bought a car lately. It is fuel efficient. It looks nice, spacious, and comfortable. The blue color is my kids' favorite. After buying the car, we often go for a ride. We have been to many beautiful places. My family and I went traveling this summer holiday. We booked a hotel by the sea. The sea was on the doorstep. The sea looked blue and the scenery was wonderful. The rooms were clean and comfortable. Waitresses were friendly. The seafood was tasty. My family was very happy. I went for a run with a friend yesterday. We started off at six o'clock in the morning. We ran for about half an hour. After the running, we felt good. We plan to run again the next day. We both feel sore today. So, we have to change the plan. We are going to run tomorrow. I live alone. I am busy at work. I seldom cook. I often eat out. Sometimes I order takeout. Our company organized physical examination last week. My blood sugar and pressure are much higher. The doctor suggested changing my eating habit. I know cooking is good for my health, but it's too much trouble. There are four people in my family. My father, my mother, my brother, and me. My father is 50 years old and works at a bank. My mother, 48 years old, is an elementary school teacher. My brother, age 21, is at university. I am 16 and a high school student. I like fruit. 
such as apples, bananas, and grapes. I don't like juice. It is too sweet for me. I like coffee. I don't add sugar or milk to coffee. I like the natural flavor of coffee. Every morning, I drink a cup of coffee. Eat an egg as well as one piece of bread and fruit. My colleagues and I eat out at noon. I usually have a big lunch. I enjoy the lunchtime. I have dinner alone at home, eating a small meal. I am a university student. The tuition is very high, so I have to work every day. I work for five hours per day and feel very tired when I get home. Even so, I still study at night. I usually go to bed at 12.30. I get up at 5.30 in the morning. I feel sleepy every day. I love fast food, especially hamburgers and chips. I don't like vegetables and exercise. I am getting fatter lately. I can't wear the clothes that I like. So I want to lose weight. I have decided to go to the gym. I expect to lose 10 pounds. I can play the piano. I started learning the piano at four years old. I practiced for one hour and a half per day. I didn't want to play the piano as a child because it was tiring. But my mother asked me to practice every day. Now I can play many songs. I'm thankful for my mother. Hello, everyone. My name is Jack. I am 36. I love playing football and skiing. I'm pretty easygoing and happy to make friends. I often play football with my friends on weekends. Nice to meet you all. I hope we can be friends. I am 1.8 meters tall and weigh 75 kilograms. I like to exercise and often work out. I am very careful about eating and rarely go out to eat. I'm in good health and rarely catch a cold. The holiday is coming. My friends want me to go traveling with them. But I don't want to go. Because visitors will flock to scenic spots, and booking flights and hotels will cost much. I want to stay at home, reading, watching movies, and listening to music. I feel most comfortable at home. I bought a new shirt. It is white with up-to-date design. It is trendy this year. It was not expensive, about $10. It is a perfect match for jeans. I will wear it tomorrow. My grandma is 75 years old and still works. She is a trendy hairstylist with many regular customers. She gets up at 5 o'clock 
every day. She starts working at 7 o'clock and gets off work at 16 o'clock. She said that she doesn't want to retire. Because work makes her happy. I have an all-white, fat kitten. We all love it. It is six months old and loves to play. I often play with it after work. It is very timid. It climbs onto my bed every night. It licks itself after waking up. It is so cute. My friends will come over this weekend to celebrate my new home. As I just moved here, there is little furniture. Chairs and tableware are not enough. They said it is okay. We can sit on the floor and use disposable tableware. It is important that we are together. My mother had surgery last week. She is still in the hospital. I visit her every day. Before the surgery, I had been worried that something might be wrong. Fortunately, it went well. My mother recovered well from the surgery. The doctor said she will be discharged next week. Now, I feel relieved. I started working this year, so my salary is not high. I live alone. I'm careful with money, seldom buying clothes or eating out. Even so, it is hard to save enough money every month. Because the rent is too high. I hope I can earn a little more next year. Recently, it's been extremely cold. It's minus 4 or 5 degrees Celsius each day. Many people in the company had a cold. Several colleagues asked for leave. Snow was forecast for today. I must wear more clothes before going out. It must be freezing outside. I don't want to catch a cold. I like exercising outdoors, especially climbing. Mountain air is fresh and the scenery is beautiful. Climbing helps me relax and makes my body strong. Now it's neither hot nor cold, the best time for climbing. I plan to go climbing with friends on the weekend. When I got up this morning, I had a minor headache. The throat is also not very comfortable. I took medicine and then went to work. I felt worse after arriving at the company. I took my temperature, 38.5 degrees. Oh, I had a fever. I had to ask for leave and went home. When I was on the bus, I wanted to watch the news. I looked for the cell phone in my bag, but found nothing. It came to my mind that I had left the cell phone at home. I was still worried while working. Finally, it was time to get off work. I rushed back home. I found ten missed calls. I have been working at the company for five years. I am happy here. 
My friend introduced me to the company. We were college classmates with the same major. He was going to quit, so he recommended me. The job is the right fit for me. I treasure this opportunity very much. My husband loves me. He is a family man. But he has one weakness. He snores loudly so that I am often awakened in the middle of the night. I used earplugs, but they didn't work at all. Recently, I haven't been sleeping enough. I really want to sleep separately from my husband. I bought a new dress online. The color and design are my favorite. I tried it on and found it a little small. I wanted to change it for a bigger one. But my sister asked me not to. Because she likes it too. It fitted her pretty well. Since she loves the dress so much, I gave it to her. I like drinking coffee very much, up to four or five cups a day. I would be in low spirits without coffee. I haven't slept well lately, probably because of drinking too much coffee. I know that drinking too much coffee is bad for my health, but I can't stop it. I will try to drink less, two cups per day. I like running. On rainy days when I can't run outside, I would jump rope at home. Jumping rope is also a cardio workout. It doesn't require a large venue or cost you much money. It is a good way to exercise at home. I usually jump rope three times, three minutes each time. After the jumping, I feel good. The exam yesterday was too hard. Too many questions to be answered in a short time. I left many questions unanswered. The results must be terrible. What if I failed the exam? The teacher will criticize me, and I will have to resit it. Oh, I hate exams. I live close to the company, about half an hour's drive. I usually get up at 7.30 and leave for work at 8. The doctor advised me to do more exercises recently. I plan to go to the company by bike. It may take more than an hour or so. So, I will have to get up earlier. My friends came to my home today. I cooked multiple dishes, including chicken, beef, fish, and various vegetables and fruit. My friends brought different types of beverages. We talked over dinner and felt very happy. The day slipped. My grandma is 80 years old. Her memory is getting worse. She can't find her glasses or remember whether she has taken medicine. She forgets to take the groceries after paying for them. She leaves the gas stove on after the meat is ready. She often forgets what she just said and asks the same question many times. We 
are worried about her. I often buy vegetables from this supermarket. It is close to my home, and the vegetables are fresh with multiple varieties and lower prices. Since I often go there, all shop assistants have come to know me. We would talk for a second when I buy groceries. Reading is very important. I want my son to read more, so I have bought many books for him. But he seldom reads, because he is not interested. He likes playing games and often plays for a couple of hours. He has been nearsighted probably as a result of spending too much time playing games. I have been busy recently, working overtime every day. It is almost 2200 when I get home. I feel too tired to do anything. I really want to change my job. But at the age of 45... I am worried that I may not find a new one. Without a new job, how do I repay the mortgage and car loan? Well, the more I think about it, the worse I feel. I bought a box of New Zealand grown kiwi fruit online. It was delivered today. It was very big, fresh, juicy, and sour and sweet. We all think it tastes good. Influenced by my mother, I like drinking tea. A cup of hot tea makes me relaxed when I feel tired at work or it gets cold. I like both red and green tea. I would add a little milk to red tea. My friends often bring me tea as they know I love it. When I was young, I often stayed up late, sleeping after 1 a.m. I can't stand it anymore because it harms my health. Once staying up late, I would feel very tired the next day, with dark circles under the eyes. Now I often go to bed at 2200 and get up at 530. Keeping early hours makes me feel better and helps improve the work efficiency. Lily is my good friend. She has long hair and big eyes, tall and beautiful. She often smiles, helps others, and does exercises. She is very energetic. I am glad to have such a wonderful friend. My son is sick, having a cough, runny nose, and fever. I took his temperature, 37 degrees, not very bad. I asked him to take medicine and then lie down. I am going to make chicken soup for him later today. Today my colleague brought the cake that she made. It was chocolate flavored, very tasty. I like cake very much but I have never made it. My colleague said she can teach me. We plan to make cakes at her home next weekend. My son said he could not see the words on the blackboard clearly. I took him for the eye examination and found him nearsighted. I got him glasses, but he didn't want to wear them. 
because he was afraid that other kids would laugh at him. I understand his feelings, but his eyesight will get worse if he doesn't wear glasses. I am going to America next week. My uncle lives in New York, and he asked me over. It will be the first time I have flown to America. I feel excited and anxious. It will take more than 10 hours to go to New York by plane. How do I kill time on such a long flight? We have a new family member, a cute puppy. My friend's dog gave birth to five puppies. I like them very much, so my friend gave one of them to me. The puppy is only one month old. It has not adjusted to the new home, barking for the whole night. Poor puppy. I never raised a puppy, having no idea how to take care of it. I have to call my friend again and again, asking for advice. I've been busy caring for the puppy all day. But I feel very happy. I was very busy yesterday. To save time, I went to McDonald's for lunch. I ordered one hamburger and a cup of juice. They were served in just two minutes. It took me only seven or eight minutes to have this meal, from ordering to finishing eating. Fast food is really convenient. A new year has begun. What is your goal for this year? Every year I set goals for the new year, but none of them have been achieved. It is said that only 8% of people can achieve their New Year's goals. So, I am among the majority. I plan to set one goal for this year and share it with my friends and let them supervise me. I hope I can make the goal a reality. After giving birth, I haven't lost weight. My friend suggests I take yoga classes. She has been doing yoga for 10 years, staying in shape. I also want to try yoga, but my kid is too young. I'm busy every day. I find it hard to spare some time. I overslept this morning because I forgot to set the alarm clock yesterday. A meeting had been scheduled at 9.30. I didn't wake up until 9 o'clock. After getting up, I was in a hurry to brush my teeth and change clothes. I went out at 9.05 without shaving, doing my hair, or having breakfast. I ran all the way and finally made it. I met some college classmates today. It's been years since we last gathered together. And everyone has become more mature. Some have married, and the majority remain single. We chatted as we ate. We talked about funny things at university, as well as current jobs. The happy time passed quickly. We agreed to get together one year later.
I'm not a picky eater. I love everything, especially sushi. There is a sushi restaurant near our company. It offers different types of sushi that is tasty and not expensive. I often go there at noon. The doctor advised me to quit smoking recently. I know that smoking is bad for my health, but I can't stop it. I have been smoking for over 30 years, starting at the age of 18. My family always wants me to quit smoking. I tried several times, but failed. Do you have any good ideas? The company recently performed poorly, cutting our pay and canceling bonuses as a result. It is said that it will lay off employees. As I am older, I will probably get fired. I plan to gather job ads preparing for a job change. Julia and I got to know each other when we walked dogs. I usually walk my dog in the evening. So does Julia. We often met each other. At first, we just smiled at each other. Over time, we began to say hello and then chat. As we met more often, we had more chats. Julia and I really hit it off. Now, we have become good friends. We also see each other without walking dogs. While studying abroad this time, I stay with Mr. Hunt's family. His family is hospitable, very nice to me. They do their best to help me adjust to the new life. When living in Mr. Hunt's, I need to follow some rules. 1. Be home by 11 p.m. 2. Keep my room neat and tidy. 3. Do my own laundry. 4. Clean up after using the kitchen. 5. Don't smoke in the house. The portions were very generous today, as I couldn't eat any more. I wanted to take the leftovers home, but then I remembered that I had something else to do instead of going home immediately. It would be weird to bring the leftovers. And they went bad fast. So I had to leave them there. What a waste. My friend invited me to dinner yesterday. She prepared several dishes. They were tasty, except for one which was weird. Probably because there was a spice I had never tasted. I had a mouthful of it, and it turned my stomach. But I felt embarrassed to spit it out. So I managed to swallow it. And then drank two mouthfuls of juice immediately. My father is a gourmet. He often writes food blogs and recommends some good restaurants on his blogs. He has three standards for recommendation. One, food tastes good. Two, price is low. Three, it has specialty. Whenever free, he would try delicious food. He would try delicious food. 
He is as happy as a child if he finds a good restaurant. I had a thorough house cleaning today. I swept before mopping the floor. I wiped the furniture. I vacuumed the carpet. I washed the bed sheets, aired the quilt, cleaned the window, and tidied the room. After a day's hard work, everything is clean now.